and I read the mission of MedStep and it just all clicked for me in that moment. When I read it, I um, my daytime job at the time was an economic development officer. And in reading the mission of Maryland Center on Economic Policy, the thing that I recognized was missing from my work was actual economics. And so understanding that when we consider small businesses or when we consider communities and development projects, we weren't actually considering all that goes into the sustainability of them and the people who are there and for being and supporting these projects. And so having that perspective really drove me to wanting to give my time and resources as much as I could to this organization, especially because they were doing work that I, I thought was doing I was doing, but really wasn't. And so just wanted to shine a light on that. And um just I hadn't begun to connect all the dots when understood there were disparities in education and entrepreneurship and healthcare, but just never connected all of the economic, all of the dots within economics. And so um, was was really impressed by that. And when I think about my first introduction to economic just injustice rather um, than justice, I I realized that my first introduction was in church. And so as a preacher's kid, I spent a lot of time in church and, and multiple churches and saw the same thing every Sunday morning, Sunday evening, Wednesday evening, Thursday evening, and sometimes um, multiple times during the week during the summer for vacation Bible school or for, um, for convocation. And so spent a lot of time watching folks learn consistently about tithing and offering and giving and sacrificing. Um, but we didn't take many lessons away about fairness and justice. And oftentimes the people who were being asked to give were folks who sat in the pew Sunday after Sunday um, to give a for offering for a fund or for a love offering with besides a healthy spiritual life, not much being offered back towards them. And so I see the same thing happening where we are asking so much of our most vulnerable communities and not very much is being offered back to them. And one thing that I um, read from a book called The Economics of Neighborly Love, there's a, a passage in there that says the sin of injustice is defined in the Bible as the abuse of power abusing power by taking from others the good things God intended for them, namely their life, liberty, dignity, or the fruits of their love or labor. And so the last question that Ben just asked about what um, does economic justice look like, it's, it's giving people the opportunity to have what it was intended for them to have, which is a good life, good freedom, dignity, and to be able to enjoy the fruits of their labor. And that's exactly what MedStep fights for and advocates for on a daily basis. Whether they are in Annapolis or they're hosting platforms like this, they are looking to hold every system, every um, legislator, every partner accountable and making sure that the work that they're doing and the partners that they, can, that they work with is thoughtfully and intentionally inclusive and that it considers every single Marylander um, in a way that we just haven't we haven't done in the past. And this is a perfect time with the pandemic and a lot of disparities being um, elevated for us to really start rallying behind MedSEP and all of its partners and really beginning to give people the opportunity to having a dignified life and to be able to enjoy the fruits of all of their labor. And so if there is an opportunity for anyone to, I'm going to pass around the offering plate now, if there's a chance for anyone to get, uh, this evening or um, if while you're making your holiday list of where organiz what organizations you're going to be giving to this year, um, I ask that you please consider MESA. Um The work that they're doing is beyond needed at this time, and it's really, it, it, it really is important that we all um, get behind them and the work that they're doing.